everyone. This morning, I am going to get a bike and do my things. <laughs> uh, yeah. I need to get up and get ready because I've got lectures in just under an hour. So, yeah, I need to be up and doing stuff. Otherwise, I'm going to miss them and I can't miss my first day back. As much as it pains me to say it because I'm very tired and I'd love to be able to just go straight to sleep. Man, it feels weird having to get up so early. Uh, I haven't had much sleep, so I'm not feeling too great. great. Um, but I guess that means that I'll get a decent amount of sleep tonight. Uh, I thought I'd do a little rundown of what I have today before I do it, just in case I c can't explain that when I'm out and doing my lectures and stuff. So, um, yeah, I start, I start off at 10 o'clock today. It's currently half nine. Uh, so, yeah, I start off at 10 o'clock. Uh, 10 o'clock till 12, so it's a two hour thing um, where I've got it's like an introductory lecture to um, conservation practice, which is a new module. Um, and then at 2 till 3, I have a lecture in uh, uh, the, the, the computer the one, the the <laughs> uh, the methods and GIS thing, the one I did last year, um, and then from 3 till 4 I have uh, BSX 2018, which is um, Behavioural Ecology, which is a new module which I'm starting this uh, semester, that's what I'm, I'm looking forward to doing, whether or not I can still say that uh, after my first lecture, I don't know, but, uh, but yeah, that's, that's essentially my day. So I've got a 10 till 2 block. Uh, and then uh, two till four block, so it's not it's not too bad. Just two blocks of two hours. The day outside is grey outside, um, but you know it's kind of nice. So I'm gonna match the day by wearing grey all over, apart from my shoes. I'm gonna wear brown shoes. Um, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be fun being back in lectures. Ish. Not gonna be that fun. But I told myself I'll be on top of things this year, so by golly, am I, if I'm not to what? That didn't make any sense. So, without further ado, let's get back into it. So, my alarm <laughs> goes off. Uh, I also. I also I also oh, look at that! I've appeared back in my room uh, because I've done my two hour lectures. Um, my two hour lecture. Still got two more hours later on. Um, yeah, I didn't film because, as I mentioned yesterday, I'm very socially awkward. I don't want to just have my phone out for even a five second clip in the middle of a lecture. So, uh, it's a quick overview. It's basically an introduction to the module where we're looking at, uh, like last term I did uh, principles of conservation where I'm looking at the kind of um, how conservation, like why we need to do it, what kind of mechanisms conservation has, like species interactions, that kind of thing. Whereas practice is literally what we go out and do. So, um, it was a two hour slot, so we did like two individual lectures. One was kind of an, in, uh, an introduction, and then we went into uh, methods of like, uh, not, not data collection, we did um, methods of estimation of, of like, because estimates are like a quite important thing before you do any work, you need to be able to estimate what, what kind of thing you're looking for. So we were looking at estimation technique, and then, in the second hour, we went into methods of sampling, like data collection, so like trapping methods, things like that. So it's really interesting. Um, but now I'm uh, I'm tired already. I got about three and a half hours to wait until my next lecture. So I'm gonna do the, the washing up, then eat some food, and then probably play FIFA. In fact, whilst I'm here, I might as well do like a miniature pack opening. I feel like because um. Uh, what's it called? Squad battles is over for the week, so um, I've got like two, two packs, two or three packs to open. So you know, why not open them now? Every time I sit at my desk, I feel guilty that my camera's there and I'm not using it. So like this week, I have a couple of days off, so I might try and film a video or two just to try and see how it works. I've never done uh, like, a, like multiple videos with like a camera, light, a microphone set up and everything, like everything where it should be. So like, I, it could be interesting to, to see if I'm comfortable doing it more, uh, in which case that'd be really good. So 
Yeah, I'll probably try it. Um, on Wednesday I have a day off, and on Friday. So I could do it then. Uh, I still need to do my computer. My computer's still in the box. Uh, I just haven't had any, had any use for it yet. So, um, yeah, I should probably do that soon. Let's see what packs I uh, have. So, um, I like didn't play that much because I was like with Ellie and stuff this week. So I got a uh, gold one rank, so I got 13k, a premium gold players pack and a jumbo premium gold pack. So I got two packs to open, which is great. So I'll go, oh my God, oh my God. I completely forgot that before um, I logged off yesterday, I put like loads of my unused items up for sale. And I'm now, <laughs> I've boosted from about 60k to 119. That's pretty decent. So the first pack I'm going to open is the premium, oh actually no, I'll do the Jumbo Premium Gold Pack first, because that one's all players, just in case. Right, so, Jumbo Premium Gold Pack, what's going to flash up? Nothing, absolutely nothing, yeah, no billboard players, nothing at all, who's it going to be? It's going to be someone I've never heard of, oh I have actually heard of Gradle, um, yay. Sometimes I don't even know why I bother, like, that's actually so bad. Anything good at the end? Any coins? Nope, nothing. Great. Uh, so that's disappointing. But now let's do a players premium gold players pack. So there's three rares. Just something decent, please, please, just you know, help me out. Help me out with this. Oh look, no billboard player. Yay, my favourite kind of player. Oh, a Stoke. Oh my god, I got Zuma. Oh, he's not going to be used at all. Shit, I just opened a pack and got Cardi in it. Like, it was a free pack from rewards. Uh, like, weekly rewards. I played 38 games this week, so... I got Cardi. Sick. I have, like, a... A... Siri A team. Is it even called Siri A anymore? I can't remember. Uh, no, it's called Calcio A. But, um, yeah. That, he'll fit in pretty nicely, I think. Okay, that's alright. You know, that's, that's finally something you're right. Decent-ish. I am super hungry, so I'm thinking of doing something similar to what I did yesterday, where I just like fry up eggs and stuff it with cheese. I wouldn't, I won't do the onions and tomato because I haven't got much of them left, but I'll definitely do the um, beans because I've got half a tin left. So let's go eat. So my cheesy egg pocket thing is sizzling away. I've done my beans too. Just a little lunch, but I haven't eaten today, so it will keep me going until dinner tonight. I haven't really decided what I'm doing, so I need to finish off that, but there isn't enough in there, so I might do. Some kind of veggie mix. There we go, looking rather tasty if I do say so myself. I made the mistake yesterday of using more than half of the tin of beans. So that's kind of a sad portion of beans, but you know, it's just a snacky lunch. Uh, last night, I started watching Luther, uh, which, in case you didn't know, is a really well acclaimed British, uh, like, detective police drama thing with Idris Elba. And so I've, I've watched a couple of episodes of it. I'm really, really enjoying it. So, um, like, because my dad watched it. And I seem to remember being with him when, like, watching one episode. But, like, I obviously didn't have any... I wasn't clued in to what was happened. I think that Xbox just made a weird noise. That was weird. Um, but, yeah. Uh, I'm going to carry on watching it. Because it's really good. And there are four seasons of it on Netflix. So, I've got quite a few episodes to go through. So, I've got a good... <laughs> Couple of days ahead of me. No, I'm joking. This is very yummy and it's it's making me feel a lot better because I haven't eaten yet. Right, time for my next lecture. So let's go, go out, out into the freezing cold where we freeze to death. I am humming Hooray, I need to put you down so I can open the door. There we go. Oh, it's chilly outside. I'm going to go outside because when I left the house earlier, something really weird happened that I had no idea had happened. And I feel like I should probably have known this considering I live in this bloody house. I left earlier. Like I went through the side door because then I can go through the back garden. It's like a kind of cut through into, well, towards the building where my lecture was. Um, so, I went through, and I didn't know this, but apparently our back gate is broken, and I have no idea how that's happened, but I obviously didn't know. I thought someone had just put a bin in the way of the gate, as you can see there, there's a bin 
but I moved it out of the way and tried to open the gate and the gate's just come off its hinges. <laughs> so I was late, so I had to like just get through any way I could, but yeah. Like, like holy, holy shit, it's just come off the hinges. Or come off two of the hinges. It's ridiculous, like how was I meant to know that? I should know that. Have we been broken into or is it just a poor like workmanship and that the, they're just really bad hinges or like has someone trying to break in, like I say? Like the landlord should have told me this. He might have done, but I haven't. I haven't seen anything, and I like I haven't heard anything from my housemates. That's ridiculous. Like, how the hell is that safe? Like, I'm gonna have to. I have to put the gate back now with the bin in the way. Heavy bin. I can't get it up on the step. <sighs> ah! Shit, this is not safe at all. I'm terrified now that someone's gonna come in through the back and break into the house. Like, <laughs> I've just perched you on a couple of bricks. It's honestly like. So heavy. I don't get how people have managed to move it up here in the first place. Because I can't even bloody move it because the wheels are shit. Oh, like, holy shit. It's just full of like leaves. As far as I can tell, there might be a body in there. I don't really know. But <sighs> I just don't understand. It's really pissing me off, but I'm just gonna move it as close as I can. I'll go inside. Try and forget about it because you know. Well, <laughs> what else can I do? That has full on terrified me. <laughs> and like my my room's the furthest away from that gate, but still, oh crap! I didn't tell you what happened this morning. Or at like one o'clock in the morning, um, Tim, who lives there, like in that room, ordered a takeaway for him and his girlfriend, and because my room, like the front door, is right there like next to my, like behind my head on my bed. Um, the, the guy who delivered the takeaway, like just full on pounded on the door, really loudly rang the doorbell about 10 times then started basically punching the door. And I woke up like sh scared shitless. I don't have a clue what's going on. <laughs> I thought someone was trying to break in. Why are there so many break-ins, well not break-ins, like scary things that might be break-ins happening? Ridiculous. Oh, I want to go home. He sent me a text just out while I was playing FIFA. It just says, any chance of a quick kiss? And that's, I'm so confused. And um, she's just finished her lectures and she went to go post a letter. And because that's like kind of near my house, she's just decided to come down and have a kiss and then go home. <laughs> it's kind of sad. But it's so cute. And a knock. Should we go to the door and see who it is? Yeah, I was having a mad orgy with all my friends. <laughs> come in, come in, it's cold outside. Just put this on for the sake of is it, being is it warm? warmer. Hello. Hello, come here. Come here. Hello. Oh. I know, I'm always warm. You're always cold. Do I have a shower? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I did put deodorant on though. Which is rare. I'm joking. What was that face? What was that face? Show them your... You're so mean. You're just lazy. I love you. Love you too. You're my little owl. <laughs> what? So, apparently, the back gate to our house is broken. No. Like, literally off its hinges. Well, I say apparently. I went, I went through it to get to my lecture today. And I was like, why is there a bin in the way of the, the gate? Really struggled to move this bin out of the way because it's so heavy. I realised the bin's holding up the gate. Gate starts, like, collapsing. Yeah. So it's just broken. I'm like, I'm terrified if someone comes oh. in. Yeah, but you keep the... <laughs> yeah, we keep the doors locked, but still, there's still one less obstacle they have to get through. Like, it's oh. so mad. Will you protect me? Come with, your, with me. Your owl eyesight. That's my nose. Actually, Ellie's eyesight's really shit. So, maybe not the best idea. <laughs> what? My little owl. My little owl. Only just arrived. Don't leave me. You can come back to me. If you can bear to leave FIFA. It's not FIFA. It's the fact that I have food here. Mm -hmm. I'm in food issues. And I need to be up tomorrow. Well, little miss gets up at 7am, will we? <laughs> little miss gets up at 7am.
is a poop hole. You're like a cute poop hole. <laughs> I like your hat. Your hair's nice today. Oh, <laughs> today? Well, it's nice most days, but I'm just saying it's nice today. Thanks. Gotta have some consistency, you know? I'll see it tomorrow, probably. Mm, maybe not. <laughs> you just stabbed me with your... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're such a melon. Do you want to take your cereal home? Because I feel like if it stays here, I'm going to eat That's more it. of it. <laughs> look but look at the side of the bed, like down the side of the bed. And you see there's a little pot. Yeah. I filled that. You filled it? I filled that tiny pot. It's not yes, much. No, you could get a lot in there. Right, show them, show them the pot. No. Yeah, yes. You can't look. You would no. Like, you that. would be able to get a lot of them That is tiny <laughs> compared to the size that of, the of the box. That's not a third of the box. Stop being a eighth. poo. It's not an eighth. It's a tenth. It's a tenth. Less than that, actually. Bucket head. Bucket. Ow. Oh. It hit me. <laughs> Pain. Are you right? <laughs> Are you going to miss me? Mm. You're going to miss me when I'm gone. My housemates are amazing, aren't they? <laughs> They're always asleep. <laughs> Leave me now. Take away the biggest part of me. My penis. No, Baba Blue. Damn the goal. Bye. Bye now. Say goodbye, Bye, everyone. Goodbye, everyone. No, look, they're waving. <laughs> Bye. What are you doing? <laughs> Love you. Are you like, oh, are you secretly happy? No. I can play the baseball. <laughs> <laughs> no, I miss you. You texted me. Sorry. Love you. Love you too. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Fuck. That was nice. That was really, really nice. Goodbye! Goodbye! <laughs> Bye! 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 Goodbye now! Goodbye! Oh, it's time around again! Bye! I'm all alone again! To edit yesterday's vlog, la 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 I'm already so tired. Like, I only got a couple of hours sleep last night, so I will probably have to go to bed soon. I'm just kind of sad. Um, I don't really know what I want to do now. I kind of want to just lie in bed, but that's all I ever do. <gasps> I just remember what I need to do. I need to exercise, because I said I'd start exercising today. Oh, for fuck's sake. Right, so if I'm going to exercise, there's a couple of things I need to do first. One of them is to pack away this bloody sleeping bag, which is in the middle of my floor. Which Ellie was using the other day because she was really cold. Because uh, Ellie gets cold really easily. So I'll clean that up. Then I need to do something else. So the next thing I need to do is get my exercise mat, which is in the corner. And I hasn't been up for about a month. Because I haven't been doing exercise for about a month. Which is why I really need to get back into doing it now. Now, now that's all done and I've got my weights there, then there's only one thing left for me to do. And that's not go for a wee like I'm going to do now. But it is get changed into appropriate exercising outfit. Like a leotard. In my case, that involves me taking off all my clothes what's, like that whatsoever. All my clothes that I'm wearing and put on some shorts and that's it. So... <laughs> Let's do that. So now I'm not wearing many clothes, so it's time to do some exercise. And I'll talk to you when I'm doing exercise that I can talk during. I.e. like basically not exercising. Before I do any though, I'll tell you what I'm doing. So um, I have like a, an ab routine. It takes about six minutes. I used to do one that took about 12, but I could only do that once every other day. And I, and I wanted to do one every day, so I shortened it and made it like a daily thing. Uh, then I do uh, a similar thing, it takes about 20 minutes for chest and arms, 
and then there's like a five minute one for legs as well just to like like i don't want to build up muscle but i want to feel happy with how i look and um, yeah so you know respect that please <laughs> yeah i'm gonna get going now because it's been so long since i've done it i don't know if i'm gonna manage well i finished um abs and it's harder than i remember and that's just because i haven't done it in a while but if i can stick to it every day then um, i should be fine in maybe a couple in like maybe four days i should be back where i was in terms of how my body can cope um yeah now i need to move on to chest and legs which should be great <sighs> i've done half of my chest half of my legs now and I'm bleeding knackered. Um, like, uh, I haven't done this for a month, but for the last couple of months before that, I'd never did legs. Um, I did legs for about half a year, um, but I, I really struggled to keep it up. I was able to do the abs and chest every day, but the legs I found really difficult, so... I'm hoping now I'm back in Bangor, and there's loads of hills and stuff, that me walking about town will kind of stretch myself out during the day, so that I feel a bit better about doing my exercise in the evenings one of the issues was that I could never be I was never able to cool down my muscles properly and so they'd ache um, and that would make me struggle a bit sorry I'm really out of breath <laughs> but um, I'm hoping that I can try and improve on that now if I just commit to doing it for maybe like five days straight like I said with abs and chest just, just kicking myself back into the routine hopefully I'll be able to keep up but yeah I'm halfway through well I'm over halfway through technically everything so, I'm feeling, I'm feeling quite good, but I'm feeling very drained in terms of energy, so after I've done this, I'm, after I've done this, I'm going to have to eat straight away. I've realised that my hair gets in the way of the camera when I exercise. I mean, I don't normally have a camera there, so I guess that's not really a very interesting thing to talk about, and I shouldn't really have noticed that, because why would I be just filming myself from down there? Uh, but I'm nearly done with chest now. And then I'll do the final bit of legs and then I'm done. So I need to go sort out what food I'm going to eat. So I'm going to try and turn off the camera with my nose as I do press-ups. So Let's go. One, two, three. No. Um, I've decided to, for dinner, to finish off my um, meaty spicy thing. And I'm going to do a massive load of roasted potatoes and carrots like I normally do. But um, I'm going to onions with that as well which will be fun I haven't roasted onions before so hopefully they'll be quite nice I think I just do them the same way as I do the carrots and, and potatoes maybe for a bit less time I'm not sure but I might just wing it and put them in for the same amount of time uh, I need to go do that food now because otherwise it's gonna be too late I haven't finished my exercises yet but I need to put the food on before I like finish up because the food's gonna take like half an hour and I'm gonna die if I don't eat soon so I'll put the food on the next size and then Everything will be dandy. Dandy, that's what I said. Um, also, um, I think Ellie and I are going to go to the cinema tomorrow um, to watch The Greatest Showman, which is the, the Barnum film. Uh, I watched Barnum um, as in the West End production, and I thought it was fantastic, so I'm really looking forward to going to see that. Um, so yeah, we're hoping to go tomorrow. Whether or not that, that comes to fruition, not sure, but I really hope it does, because it'll be really good fun. Uh, we might be going with Sophie, Ellie's friend, uh, which will be awesome. So, uh, yeah. Right, let's go do food. I think this is honestly one of the first times I've ever used an entire bag of carrots in a week. It's great. Oh, yeah. I put onions in it and it tastes divine. It's like 10 o'clock, so I'm going to go and lie in bed and watch um, Luther. And that's literally all I'm going to do. In case I don't do anything else, my plan for the night is to watch Luther, um, finish my food, and then I'll go and get more food if I want it. I've like got spare potato, onion and carrot. So I could have them tomorrow, but I could have them later if I'm hungry and I can't sleep because I couldn't sleep last night. Um, tomorrow I'm getting up at about nine o'clock because I need to go to uh, my lecture, which is at 10 to 11. Then I'm free all day. Um, plans wise, I don't really have any. I think I'm gonna go to the library to do some work, uh, do some background reading, try and get a couple of books maybe. Um, and then I'm off uh, the whole of Wednesday 
So basically, after tomorrow morning, I've got a pretty chill life. So I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I mean, it's kind of annoying that I've got I've got into the routine of lectures for one and one one day and one hour, and then it's gone for two days basically. So it's a bit sad, but oh well, that's just how it works. Uh, but yeah, I need to eat my food before it gets cold. So yeah. So yeah, thanks for watching and like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed this kind of thing. And um, that's a really boring outro. And I'll see you guys tomorrow at nine half nine in the morning for my lecture yeah bye